so I'm here to talk about MediaWiki release management. And because Lex asked for this last night, I have a special slide. Uh, who am I? I'm a really great guy. Uh, so first thing, it's not going to show all these because of the way this is working, but uh, the first thing to remember is I'm a technologist. I'm not a knowledge management worker. I'm a, I'm a guy who likes to sit head down and not deal with people. Well, I like people, but you know, not too much. Um, so yeah, if you want to get something done with technology, I'm your guy, but you should have an idea of what you want to do. Uh, and that's why I think it's worked out really well with people I work with. Anyway, you can't see these other bullet points, but I'll just read them. I'm former MediaWiki release manager, uh, former Bugmeister for the Wikimedia Foundation, uh, current president of MediaWiki stakeholders. Uh, and uh, with, with myself, I brought, uh, I got MediaWiki stakeholders to take over Wiki Apiary, which is a catalog of all the wikis that are out public on the internet. By the way, this picture of me, I'm sorry I don't have enough facial hair in it. But anyway, here we go. <clears throat> As I said, I'm Mark Hirschberger. I'll be giving an overview of the work that I'm doing on automating MediaWiki releases. Cindy, in her role as product manager for the MediaWiki platform team at the Wikimedia Foundation, is taking on the MediaWiki releases from the release management team in order to make the release of MediaWiki as straightforward, something we just heard talked about, as possible. Uh, so she, she approached me to help me help in automating this process using as much Wikimedia infrastructure as possible. Um, Cindy initially asked for uh, uh, just, you know, give me one button to click that I can make a release with. Uh, yeah, this single action thing, it seems to be spreading. Um, but Wikimedia already had a button. Um, yeah, probably this was not the one she was looking for. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we've already described the project that I'm working on, the project's goals is a big red button to make it as e easy as possible, maybe pushing one or two buttons to make a release. Um, this includes the automated email announcements of the releases, automated collation of release nodes, all, all from get commits and all the rest. But why would we want to do such a thing? Because we have a, a not very well maintained train for making, in, media, in Wikimedia they, call, they have a re release train that they use for pushing releases to Wikipedia. It's very, they've done a lot of work on it. It's a very well honed, well tuned machine. Um, the, the train for media wiki releases is not quite so good. Um, yeah, things like patches, they distribute patches so you can update your existing install uh, and those would not apply easily or correctly. The wrong version of an extension might be included, uh, etc. So Media Wiki or Wikimedia is familiar with this process, and this is another one of those big long pages. So they asked uh, me and my partner, Marcus, to come up with a release checklist, um, which obviously there's a lot that, that goes into making a release of Media Wiki. Um, so, yeah, the, in each one of these steps has to be done by hand. Um, so, my job is to automate as much as possible of this. So what do we get after, after this? Hopefully we get an efficient and fast machine that can uh, just roll out releases and do them very reliably. Um, so, but we still want flexibility. Um, right now we have, we're using Jenkins uh, to push out the 
right now I'm targeting, let me rephrase, I'm targeting Jenkins. Uh, but Wikimedia is moving off of Jenkins uh, because Jenkins is too complicated. I don't know where we've heard that before, but anyway. Um, so hopefully I get around this by using Docker um, and putting all the packaging work into Docker and using Jenkins as just scheduling and uh, the, the user interface for, you know, fields. Um, in this way, the continuous integration work that I do should be movable to any continuous integration application like Argo, which looks like maybe what they're going to be using at the foundation. Um, anyway, so I would also like to use this opportunity to look at other things besides tarballs. Tarballs are so 1990s. So, you know. By the way, never use this meme. If you want to use this meme, don't use it. This meme is, it's itself. It's, it's already dated. It would be great. It would be great to have uh, official Docker installations for MediaWiki that could, people could use in production or as, as their first, you know, in, installation. Um, I would also like to use the work that I'm doing to provide uh, installations that people can just do one click for Amazon, Amazon Light Sale or Azure or things like that because that would be, you know, I, I, my idea is as a, as a guy who makes money is your first one's free. Um, you know, we'll give you MediaWiki for free, and it's easy to install. But man, you get all this complexity, then you need me. Um, so anyway, that, that's my selfishness. Uh, what is being automated? Tarball creation, automatic signing of tarball, which is a tricky part. Uh, I have some ideas for that. I have some tools. Uh, I need to probably talk to Brian about that. Um, Automated email announcements, this should be easy. Uh, collation of release notes, most of that work is done. It just needs to be, you know, they have scripts for that. I just need to automate it. Uh, and then triggers from Zool, which say, okay, people made a commit or so much time has passed, now notify the release manager or whatever. And that's it. I'm done. <laughs> Do I turn?